It all started when I approached, during quarantine, when I approached Melissa. Um, she usually comes and spends some time with my neighbors. Um, so I just approached her one day and I asked her if she would mind wearing one of my swimsuits. And she was like, sure. So I showed her and she was really impressed. And then she was like, um, she asked me if I can make a dress for her. So I asked her what color she liked. She was like, off white. So at that point in time, I knew I had off white inside. So I just came inside and I, I came inside first, got my measuring team. I went back and measured her. All right. So I come inside, started to do it. So a couple of days later, I finished it. So my, um, my neighbor then sent the picture to her. Cause at that point, she couldn't get down here. And she was like, she was really, really impressed with it. So after a few days later, then was still here for quarantine, and it was still, re and it was approaching Rihanna's birthday. So she then decided to give it. She said she was going to give it to Rihanna for her birthday. So um, it just happened like that. Um, on Tuesday, when it got posted, I didn't even know because I wasn't even checking social media. But one of my friends, because I told her that I was making a dress for Rihanna's best friend, and one of my friends saw it and. She was like, she needs, she needs to see the dress. So I then got on social media and I saw a dress. I was like, um, this is my dress. So then I, at first I was a bit hesitant to, to go on it and react on it because it didn't get tagged to me. So after a while, I went back off my neighbors. I said, well, they may tag me in the dress. So then Melissa then went and said, she reposts what Rihanna posts. And she said, stand up, stand up tall, Beijing. And she tagged me in it and then... That's what I made from there. And seeing it in vogue and having Rihanna wear it, how, what, what was that experience like for you, um, having seen the, one of the biggest things to come out of Barbados wearing your, your, your dress? <laughs> um, to be honest, it was really, really surreal. I couldn't even believe it myself because I never in a million years really expected my dress to go so far. But I was really, really, really happy. I'm still really, really happy because I still ain't over it as yet. Yeah, so huh, that's it. Since she's posted it, have you gotten any like requests or inquiries about your your um your swimsuits, your dresses, and it is crochet? So just tell us a little bit about how you got into that as well. Um, I've gotten thousands of requests so far. Everybody's like they want this dress, they want this dress. Yeah, um, me got into I got into crochet due to my friend's mother and name Anne. Um, Cause I usually work in town, and she's normally sit on just crochet. So it was one day I was like, um, if I could get this, do you know? So I just got up and went and by the thread and I came back. At first I didn't get a, I didn't get a hook, so she gave me one of hers, which is the same hook I used to make that dress. So I just start. At first I couldn't get the grip of it, but I came home and I keep trying, I keep trying, I keep trying, and in like two days I got it mastered. And I was like, I, everybody was so impressed because people really couldn't believe, like people in town couldn't believe that I got it handled. And it was from there it was just going how long have you been doing it and how old are you to be honest i've only been doing it for seven months only seven months and i've gotten that good already what's next for Shanice? well i hope it goes really far <laughs> um i'm just gonna keep doing it and hopefully it takes off from here um yeah <laughs>